This one is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, although what counts as experience and what counts as innocence can be incredibly varied. Typically, innocence and experience are in some way sexual, right? Um, and this is why revenge narratives are always hinging on this opposition between innocence and experience. I think a fantastic example of this is the John Ford film, The Searchers, which stars John Wayne. Um, in this movie, John Wayne plays Ethan Edwards, and uh, Edwards' niece is kidnapped by the Indians, um, and the threat is specifically directed not just at her femininity, and not just her virginity, but at her, at her youth, which is presented as being sexually vulnerable. And so what makes this example, The Searchers, so unique is that what threatens this woman, uh, this young woman, this young girl, is... Uh, threatening her community as well, its belief system, right? Um, and referring back to reason and passion from the last video, her society has built up this logical system in which they have come to value things like youth and innocence and uh, virginity in particular ways. And in that value system, they have devalued the, uh, the Native Americans um, and denigrated them often in very irrational ways. Um, but that irrational uh, system comes from, you know, innocence versus experience. Uh, many people have not experienced what it's like with, to be around the native people and so on, but they've been trained, they've been given the experience of their soci societal training, um, and so their innocence is, is corrupted in a certain sense. Um, so there's a there's a kind of a, in a, a rational way that they've had uh, experience or the illusion of experience, which builds up all kinds of prejudices, and uh, yeah, that's one of the main functions in the uh, one one of the main uh, features of the searchers is that Ethan Edwards has actually been exposed to the Native American traditions and their culture, and as we watch the film, we learn that he has this long history with the with the natives, and so he. And he can speak their language, and so he intimately understands what's happening to his niece, or he thinks that he does, um, and I think he's not wrong. Um, so those of you who are familiar with this film know that his knowledge of how his niece's innocence has been polluted by the opposing culture in the film, it drives him not just to, to find her and rescue her, but, well, he doesn't intend to rescue her at all for most of the movie. He intends to kill her. Um, and his experience comes into conflict with her innocence. 